The global workforce is lonelier than ever before, resulting in disengaged, dissatisfied, and disloyal employees. Without concerted action, loneliness is likely to get worse in the years ahead. With work cycles spinning faster, remote and hybrid work becoming more prevalent, technology advancing, and a digital native generation flooding the workforce, workplace loneliness will turn from a simmer to a boil. If you or your team is experiencing loneliness, guess what? You are not alone. A colossal 72% of global workers feel lonely at least monthly, with 55% saying that they feel lonely weekly the impact of loneliness is stark. In the workplace, employee productivity, loyalty, collaboration, and engagement all decrease when employees are lonely. Reducing isolation is good business. 94% of leaders say that their teams are growing lonelier while working remotely. Leaders can sense the escalating loneliness amongst their teams, but they haven't had a resource for how to handle it. We're here to help. Loneliness should be as important to managers, directors, and CEOs as it is to therapists. Loneliness isn't shameful, it's a signal. A signal that we need each other. Humanity's greatest strength has always been in our ability to work together. If we're successful in seeking isolation, nothing would exist. The book you read, the phone you check, the building you sit in, and the car you drive all came into existence because a group of people came together to build it. Nothing of significance is ever created alone. Together we dream, build, and prosper. We seek each other, we help each other, we heal each other. We build together, we grow together, we thrive together. For over a decade as global leadership speakers and consultants, we've helped companies prepare for the future of work by humanizing their business so they can better leverage their greatest asset, their people. Over the last two years, we've surveyed over 2,000 employees and leaders around the world about their experience with loneliness at work. We've interviewed over 50 global leaders about how they lessen loneliness and boost belonging inside their organizations. And we've worked alongside many of the world's leading organizations like the Home Depot, Liberty Mutual Insurance, Catalan Pharma Solutions, Kaiser Permanente, Brewster's Ice Cream, Blackstone, and Texas A&M University to strengthen belonging across their workforces, whether they are in-person, remote, or hybrid. We distilled all of our research and insights into a book called Connectable, how leaders can move teams from isolated to all in. Connectable means to link together. Our aim is to create stronger links between workers and their team, the work, and their leaders. When someone is teachable, they are ready and willing to be taught. Similarly, when someone is connectable, they are ready and willing to be connected. A connectable leader is ready and willing to establish and facilitate team connections. A connectable team member is ready and willing to connect with teammates. And a connectable culture is ready and willing to foster deeper human connection across the team or organization. Today's smart devices are connectable. Users can connect their smartphone, for example, to a smart TV, Wi-Fi network, or a charging station. When a device is connected, it becomes more powerful, intelligent, and useful. A connectable team experiences similar benefits. When workers are connected to their team, the work, and their leaders, they are stronger, healthier, and more useful. Just like a smartphone was built to connect with other technology, humans are built to connect with other people. We are all connectable. However, without the appropriate action, our collective connectability will become dormant, stripping humanity of its very essence. Leaders like you awaken the renewed sense of connection that humanity is silently screaming for. Work is the most fertile ground where connection can spring forth. Loneliness is increasing, but that means it's malleable. What increases can also decrease. It takes much less effort than you might expect to lessen loneliness and boost belonging at work. And it only takes you. You don't necessarily need to persuade other leaders or get buy-in from your team or overhaul your company culture. There are subtle shifts you can make as a leader to completely change the well-being of your entire team. When we foster environments where teams can thrive, big things happen. Our talent is in individuals, our strength is in numbers, our hope is in you.